I'm going to ask you a question, and then it's up to you to respond. It's in a crisis situation that you can measure the judgment and transparency of a leader. You've almost all uh, forgiven some candidates uh, or, or let them go, uh, embarrassing candidates. So from now on, can you tell us that there'll be zero tolerance for any candidate or MP uh, who would make any racist comments? Mr. Blanchet. First, I understand why this question is asked tonight. If any of the candidates had refused to apologize explicitly, there would not be a candidate of the bloc tonight, because I can state I'm, I'm sure that the fact that I was, that I wrote in newspapers, that I was on TV before, I know that everybody looked into that with a fine tooth combed. And I understand that it's the same for my colleagues on stage tonight. What is essential to me in an election campaign is that people can choose for whom they'll vote based on the values they put forth. And we will work for Quebec. Four examples of people what we had to forgive, you and Mr. Trudeau, Mr. Scheer as well. I can say is that there is one candidate who did not meet our policy. That is a, a candidate who breached ethic guidelines twice, who lied about many things in their life. And that is the Liberal Papineau candidate. Mr. Trudeau. Apologies are important, but intentions and values and concrete measures that are taken are important as well. And we will always judge on values and actions uh, taken by everyone. It's a part of the election choice before people. Are people re representing their values will be there to defend them? And people know that for four years I have been defending them, and we will continue to move forward defending those values together. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. All the candidates have made mistakes, but what's important is that they take ownership of their mistakes, that they own them, and thereafter we just need to ensure that uh, they share Canadian values, that of tolerance, acceptance, freedom. Our party has been founded on personal responsibility, freedom. All our candidates are expected to live by those uh, principles. That's a question of authenticity. If a person apologizes, but doesn't commit to change in the future, there's no strong commitment to do things differently. So in that case, it would be a no. But if a person says they're sorry and commits to change, if they share our values, they can stay in our party. Our value is to work for people, not for the wealthy. Our value is to defend human rights. We want to advance social justice and fight the climate crisis. We can do this together, and that's exactly the type of candidates and team we have and we need. I think that we have a problem in our democracy. I have a number of people who've asked me why would someone run for a party in an election in our democracy because there are always things that are embarrassing. But to me, it's an issue of the level of their comments. We have zero tolerance for racism, anti-Semitism, sexism. We have zero tolerance. That's clear. But we have to think about this because in the last few weeks in this election, we have spent an awful lot of time on small politics and not to try to find a way to work together to fight the climate emergency. And I, to my last breath, I will try to stop the climate emergency. We need to work together. We need to make the right choice. We need to move forward to fight against climate change. And we will continue to move forward. Thank you, Mr. Scheer, Mr. Blanchet. And then we'll conclude. This, the choice for this election is clear. Four more years of tax hikes, of more expensive lives, or a conservative government that will make life more affordable for everyone. We'll be it in the House of Commons. We will vote in favor of what's good for Quebec against what is not good for Quebec. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.